This is Ivan Ivanov, and you are watching UFO Disclosure Bulgaria. We have the documents. We have the witnesses. True stories about UFOs, visitors from outer space, and other worlds. Absolutely, UFOs are real. Uh huh. Have you seen it? I actually saw a craft when I was 10 years old. It was uh, in my backyard in Thousand Oaks, California. It was hovering 10 feet off the ground, about 30 feet from my brother and I. And it was a structured craft with landing gear on it, making a humming noise, much like a transformer on a telephone pole. And uh, this was my first foray into actually seeing one of these craft for myself close up. This is pretty close. Very close, yes. It was very close. What feeling do you have in that time? Well, I was uh, kind of the first feeling I had was, oh my gosh, these things are real, because we'd been doing some reading about it as young kids on the newspapers and things in those days. Uh, the second thought I had on it was, wow, this thing looks like it could have been man-made because there was some structure, uh, a bolt in one of the structure points. But then it was completely <laughs> seamless, and it was making a humming noise like a transformer on a telephone pole late at night. So I, I don't believe it was our technology. This was 50 years ago. It was 1965, uh, actually over 50 years ago, 53 years ago. So I don't believe it was ours. I believe it was some, from someplace else, some kind of a landing craft. How many files Mufo has? I mean, real files. Real files, over 100,000 files currently. We have uh, more than 94,000 in our CMS database, which is an online database. We have another 9,000 cases, which are from the previous days when we did everything by paper. This is called the Pandora files. We're going to be uh, making those available to the public very soon. Mm -hmm. Have you have any mess with the government? I've never had any uh, interact uh, with the government in terms of uh, being messed with, you mean? I'd uh, like to go in the hearing with the representative of the Congress and talking about this, about the files. I did, I did meet with my congressman uh, about 20 years ago and talked about this subject and he was very open to listening to it and hearing the subject. Um, but you know, governments, uh, the purpose of government is not so much to tell people about things like this. Mm -hmm. The purpose of government is to basically protect the people and make sure that they're taken care of. So I think if we expect our government to come forward and say UFOs are real, I don't think that's ever going to happen. But I think there are people within the government who will come forward, people like uh, Christopher Mellon on the TTSA team, uh, Lou Elizondo, uh, Jimmy Semivan. These are folks who've interacted with the phenomenon as part of their jobs or have become aware of it and now they're willing to step out and speak on it. I don't think the president or president of any country is ever going to step forward and just say UFOs are real. They'll let you look at the data and that's what MUFON does. We provide the data and the cases so people can actually see what's there. So um, I encourage people to join MUFON and get involved and, and work this out and talk to the people around them. That's how it's going to change. You have people all over the world. Yes, we have. Uh, we operate in 43 countries and all 50 states, and Bulgaria is one of them. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, basically, it's a, uh, a volunteer type of a, a force. So, everyone does it by volunteer. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you. Hola. Hola. Como esta, amigo? <laughs> Muy bien. Thank you so much for this interview. Unfortunately, I, I cannot speak um, Spanish. <laughs> Don't worry, my English is so-so. <laughs> uh, I'm very thankful to be with uh, your full disclosure of Bulgaria, even for five minutes. Oh. I appreciate that. Okay. And I am um, <clears throat> following you for a long time, but just like... Uh, pictures because I don't understand exactly what you're saying, okay. <laughs> but I feel that you're saying something important. I will speak in my language, in Spanish, with my interpreter, Kembly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Eh, para los amigos de Bulgaria, creo que lo más importante es el mensaje que se desprende del fenómeno OVNI. 
For my friends in Bulgaria, the most important thing is the message that is part of the UFO phenomena. Más allá de la investigación racional de los avistamientos y las evidencias. Much more than the rational uh, study of sightings. No hay que olvidar que hay una inteligencia no humana detrás de esta tecnología. We must not forget that there is an intelligence that is not human behind this technology. Y deberíamos comprender por qué muchos de estos seres tienen aspecto humano. And we should understand that many of these beings do have a humanoid aspect. Cabeza, tronco, extremidades como nosotros. They have a head, a, a trunk, um, just like us. Son criaturas que también se han desarrollado como nosotros, pero en otras partes del universo. They are creatures that have developed just like us, but in other parts of the universe. Y si nos están visitando, ¿hace cuánto tiempo lo hacen? And if they have been visiting, for how long have they been visiting? Podría haber, haber generado algún tipo de influencia en nuestra cultura, en nuestra historia. Perhaps they have had some influence in our culture, in our history. Son preguntas que siempre me he hecho desde que empezó mi contacto en el Perú. These are questions that I have always asked myself since I began in Peru. Teniendo en cuenta que Perú es un país con cultura ancestral muy vieja. Taking into account that Peru has a rich history, a very ancient history. En cuyas leyendas se habla de los dioses que llegaron de las estrellas. With many legends of gods that came from the stars. Por eso pienso que más allá del estudio del fenómeno ovni y las fotografías del mismo. That's why I say that much more than the UFO phenomena. Me interesa el mensaje que hay detrás del fenómeno. What is of interest to me is the message be behind the phenomena. La inteligencia que controla el fenómeno. What is the intelligence that controls the phenomena? Y cómo nos puede situar en la comprensión de nuestro lugar en el universo. And how can this help understand our situation in the universe now? Um, what humanity can change hmm. to be more friendly each other, like a human beings, and friendly with the, our brothers from the universe, from the, the stars? The answer is the peace. Eh, la respuesta es la paz. Eh, procurar ver lo que nos une y no lo que nos separa como especie. It is to try to look at what unites us and not what divides us as a species. Sé que suena como muy místico lo que estoy diciendo. And I understand that this might sound very mystical. Pero es lo que he comprendido. But it is what I have come to understand. Como dije en mi presentación aquí en el Congreso de Nevada. As I said in my presentation here in Nevada. ¿Cómo vamos a intentar un contacto con seres de otros mundos y otras realidades si no intentamos primero un contacto con nosotros mismos, when we don't have this contact with ourselves, con los demás? With each other. Así es que creo que lo que la humanidad debería corregir o cambiar so, what I'm saying is that what I believe that humanity needs to change es su actitud frente a los demás. It is its attitude among each other. Dejar de ser menos violentos, hostiles. We need to be less violent and hostile. Ser más pacíficos. We need to be more peaceful. Porque la paz es el lenguaje del cosmos. Because peace is the language of the cosmos. Gracias, muchas gracias. Thank you so much again for this interview. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What will be the next? Everybody knew that UFO well, exists. Yeah, what will be the next step? The next step is yeah. to collect all the cosmic messages from all over the world, the messages that we're given. And right now, most of my work is done in Latin America because that's where the space people are walking off the spaceships in Latin America. So uh, they're doing that because the Latin Americans have a big heart and you can have a conversation with an ET in Latin America. Um, here in America very little is happening. Uh, what's happening is, uh, you know, the intelligence community is asking for money to build craft and so forth. And it is not a vibrational uh, situation where we don't need more arms, we don't need war, we don't need scalar weapons, we don't need to kill more people, we don't need this kind of thing. Unfortunately, this planet is built on economy of war. And Adamski has said a long time we've got to break that economy because if we would spend all our money trying to get into outer space and have wonderful spaceships and have uh, you know carriers of space ships and so forth like that, we would stop the war economy because war economy makes a lot of money, but then the uh, reconstruction of it makes a lot of money. So it's war and reconstruction, war and reconstruction. This planet is like that. This planet, unfortunately, is like that. And so what we're trying to do is change the paradigm and have a peace. 
and, and work with people that so we have everything so eventually people have ESP and they can communicate as a lot of CE5 groups communicate with extraterrestrials uh, we can save the uh, ecology which is the messages we're getting save the ecology of the planet um, and it, it seems like such a big job but if, if everybody just does a little tiny bit it'll be okay I, in 2014, I was in Shasta with Ricardo. I had the first yeah, contact yeah. there. I had How do you feel when you saw that video? <laughs> <laughs> what is, what is uh, it was a shock. It was uh, post-traumatic stress because you're seeing, uh, it's like seeing a ghost, only he was physical. It was 10 feet tall, a beautiful being, beautiful being. Uh, a man, a spaceman with a whole space outfit with long blonde yeah. hair and almond-shaped eyes. So uh, he basically uh, was speaking in a language I didn't understand and at the very end of the context said in a robotic voice, thank you, and walked away. So I just was in shock because nobody ever told me what to do, nobody told me how to act, I didn't know what to do. Uh, I think everybody would be in that situation. You don't know what to do, not because you're afraid, but because it's so different. It's like seeing a ghost. I mean, it's so different situation. And I was with uh, three, five people at the time, so I wasn't alone. And um, it, it was very interesting, but it changed my life. What can be your message to Bulgaria, people who are searching for that truth? To who? Uh, for Bulgarians who are searching. Oh, Bulgaria. Who's searching um, for the truth? It's a spiritual. It's a spiritual truth. They speak to us in our dreams. They speak to us in our mind, and it is a positive. It is a positive communication. So the the thing is not. It's not a circus. It's not a. You know, are we going to? Uh, you know, go see UFOs. It is. Please change your life. Please come together and please change the planet. Okay. Thank you very much. In fact, this is one of the people that was with me. Uh, this is Raimundo. Okay. He's asking me about Shasta. <laughs> uh, Raimundo, Raimundo was with me, so you could even uh, go that way. Uh, and uh, and Raimundo, is Antarel physical? Yes. Yes. And Raimundo has seen Antarel many more times than I have. Yes. Raimundo is with Ricardo Gonzalez's group. You can move yeah. the camera over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's seen him many more times than I have. So yeah. here's Ricardo. Yeah, we made so this thank today. you. <laughs> Thanks to this group of people from Latin America. They're very special. I've, they're very special. I had the opportunity and invitation. She's Just very kind with us. <laughs> Paula, thank you for your amazing Congress. Thank okay. you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. And I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Thank you, Paula. You're welcome. I have a long trip. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Thank you, I love you. I love you too. Take care. Be ready for the camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll see you This there. lady is the best. <laughs> I know.